afternoon, worshipping enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome to the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves. Today, we're coming at you from different digs. Reason is, I recently bought World War I replica khaki kit from Razor Emporium. And the reason we're in here is that we're at my kitchen island. I don't have a big ass mirror in here. I have one in the bathroom. So that's why we're doing it here. Kind of a mock setup here. My girlfriend's standing around. She's gonna hopefully record part of the angle of this over my shoulder, see what it looks like. So anyway, this is what this is. And I did go onto the Razor Emporium website before I come on to refresh my memory, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to find the information. So, but this is what it looks like. Now, from what I can understand, and like I said, this part I may have wrong, is that the bottom plate is original. Uh, but it's obviously been replated, and obviously they try to pick the best of the best. Make sure the teeth are nice and straight. Your top plate. And like I said, this is a replica of an old uh, old type uh, ball, ball end. Now the originals, and I believe this is an original. This is from 1918. These pieces just fit in together. And they actually have a habit of cracking along the handle. This one's got a crack right there, if you can see it. Whereas what they've done in the new ones is these are actually threaded in. So they're much more, or much better. They're not gonna crack, they're not gonna split. So we'll give that a go. They also come with a five pack of Gillette Silver Blues. So we'll give that a go. And the other thing, as it comes as the original did with a mirror. I grab my measuring tape. The mirror measures approximately three and a half inches by two inches. Now I guess back in the day, and I don't come from a military background. My girlfriend has a military background. She understands a lot more about this, but I wish she would have used this. There would have been some of the khaki kits actually had tacks, thumbtacks. You could tack it to a post, whatever you needed. And I guess you can also use this as um, uh, a, a flagging, a flashing device. What would you call that? A marking, signaling, signaling device. So we're actually gonna try shaving with this rather than using the mirror. So, um, yeah, I guess back, actually it comes in a nice little pack. The receipt and a bit of a write up. Um, from Razor Emporium. So really happy with that. Now what I'm going to use with this kit, and uh, I did reach out to Douglas Smythe and asked him just to refresh my memory. I wanted to use the uh, John Frum. And I said, what's the chances they're from the same era? Save me from Googling it. And he said, unfortunately not. Khaki kit, World War I. And John Frum, World War II. But still, I want to use this. I did a video of it a while back. I'll post a link to it here. I love this scent. And although this is not accurate at all, they didn't have synthetics back then, we're going to go with the 26 millimeter atomic rocket synthetic, which I really enjoy using. So like I said, this is a bit of a different setup for me. Um, so once I figure out where the heck I put everything, we are going to get this geared up. Now from what I can figure, this razor is supposed to be fairly aggressive, which I've got several, probably about two weeks worth of growth because I've just been busy as usual. So I'm actually curious to see how this is going to shave. Uh, I've used open combs before. I really enjoy using them. Oh, just get this taken out of here. Now, if I had planned better, I would have been able to get this video done I would have had the pro I would have had the kit in in time for Canadian uh, Remembrance Day and Americans Veterans Day, but um, as it was, I uh, I didn't think about it in time and get it didn't get it geared up. So I'm gonna take this, put our Gillette Silver Blue in there. I think something you'll find with the older the old ones is that the plates are actually seems to me a lot thinner than what the new uh, than what the new designs are. So, I don't know what the weight of it is, but it is quite light. I'll put that in the edits. So 
we'll get this geared up. And again, we're just kind of, it's kind of weird to be doing it this way. I've never done it this way. So, get our face cloth ready. Get our John Frum ready. And I'll put the scent notes in the edits. We're just gonna, like I said, I've just got just a bowl of water. It was hot, now it's lukewarm. Get our synthetic in there. Squeeze up most of the water. And we're still gonna start getting our lather built up. And try not to make a huge mess in the kitchen. And I'm already spilling lather all over the place. This is a vegan. I believe all of PAA is vegan. So we'll get a nice load on our brush. You can see it's already spilling over the sides and under the floor. Oh. Just got out the shower a bit ago. Actually, go with the mirror. That's a case of how's the best way to hold. I'm trying to figure out how to even hold the thing. If I just brace it on my arm in front of me on the sideboard, kind of hold it still. Try not to rely on the camera because obviously I could just use that to view and find everything. Again, very awkward. And there's my girlfriend. I don't know if, what she sees in that, but I'm going to splice in that. Well, we'll have to edit her out. Anyway, this is very awkward to do, trying to hold this little mirror, but you can appreciate that how much more awkward it would have been with bombs and snipers and all that going on around you. So, give this a go. So, first pass with the grain. Definitely takes some getting used to. I mean, the reason for doing this is obviously for demonstration purposes. You wouldn't normally do this. In a pinch, if you go out to the camp, sure. And I can't tell if it bit me or not. Quite aggressive. It's got a fair bit of blade feel to it, which I really, really enjoy. But what I will say is using a mirror, this little tiny mirror, is really, really, really tough. I'm just gonna go blind here. Actually, I'm gonna use the camera because it is so much easier. At least for that part, I'm trying to get that goatee out of the way. Yeah, I guess Gillette had the exclusive 
uh, supplied exclusively for the military, or was the exclusive supplier to the military back in World War I. I guess uh, the military the back then, and even now, my uh, one of my dispatchers is military. My girlfriend's got military background. Um, the military is extremely particular about shaving. Um, if you watch Dartmouth shaving, he's military. He shaves twice a day. It's just what he's been doing for years. But. Uh, Back in the day of being gassed, chemical welfare and all that, and you needed your mask to fit really tight, so the military would have been really particular. I do love the scent of this it's white musk. Uh, and like I said, I will post the rest of the notes. A lot of there is great stuff. The atomic rocket, love it. Although I do find with my goatee 20, and right now growing in my mustache from November, that uh, the 26 is a bit big for my face. But really enjoy using it. So. Okay, we're gonna try Pass number two. Like so I'm going to try not to rely on the camera and uh, stay just using a little handheld. And like I said, in a perfect world, you would have probably had this stuck to a tree. Some sort of a post. Oh. The Nerling's not bad on this at all. It's a little bit slippery, but... Uh, typically, I use a Voschkod. I have used uh, these Gillettes before. I don't dislike them, but like I said, my uh, my go-to is definitely Voschkod. So, I'm really enjoying using this. Next time I use it though, I definitely want to use a full-size mirror. So. I have a few products by Razor Emporium and I love their commitment to quality, Matt Pesarisic. You guys that follow me know that uh, definitely guys I look up to, Matt Pesarisic and Douglas Smythe. We were hoping to get up to Big Shave Southwest 2020, but uh, for reasons of finances, uh, looks like we're gonna have to wait till 2021. It's just uh, an expensive commitment and uh, just not gonna be able to do it this year. But their products and uh, just a commitment to giving back to the community and. And thank God, I'd rather be shaving his back. I've got to get caught up. I think they've got at least two episodes, maybe even three by now. But So I've definitely got to get caught up on that. So I started to watch the first one um, and uh, with time to go trucking, so I didn't get a chance to finish it all. And with being a truck driver, time's limited. I don't get nearly enough time to spend with my family and my girlfriend, so I'll do what I can. So well, we're going to do the third pass. Try and do this. I'm going to go against the green.
And again, relying on this little mirror, three and a half inches by two inches is really, really tough when you're used to using a big three foot by three foot mirror or whatever the one in the bathroom is here. And one thing I do find with that open comb is it does get caught up on the whiskers of my goatee a little bit, so. Let's see what we got here. I am amazed. That is BBS. That cleared off. No, that's about two weeks worth of growth. And uh, yeah, this replica, like I said, just unbelievable. So anyway, guys, we're going to pause the camera. I'm going to go into the bathroom where there is a big mirror and running water. And I'm going to rinse this out and then we'll come right back. So back to second. cleaned out of here except with this uh, I always got a lot of soap in my beard so I gotta take a bit to wash it out so uh, we're gonna finish it up of course with a John from aftershave splash description in my edits oh. oh yeah that's alcohol look out for the light And I'm surprised. That would not normally be a scent that I like, but that is really, really nice. So, I love that one. Well, anyway, guys, so what we did today, give you an introduction to the Razor Emporium World War I replica khaki kit. It came with a little mirror. You saw me do a shave using it. about three and a half inches by two inches. Very awkward to use, like I said, back in the day, I'm assuming if you put stationery on a tree or a post, it wouldn't have been too, too bad. Razor Emporium, their replica of the uh, ball end. Open comb, I believe the open comb bottom plate is original, the rest of it is um, replica. They've modified it, made it better made it so the top and bottom are threaded in rather than just pressure fit in. But uh, knurling and all that, you know, based on the original, very nice. Um, came with a five pack of Gillette Silver Blues. Not my go-to blade, but got a really, really nice shave. Took off a couple weeks of growth like nothing. From PAA, we got the John Frum based on a World War II um, story. Uh, again, video of that uh, recorded uh, sometime last fall, I believe. Magic Splash. Love this white mask, sent notes in the descriptions. And the 26 millimeter atomic rocket. Uh, I have, there's four in the set of these that uh, Doug's offering, I have three of them. The Green Ray, the Atomic Rocket, and the StarCraft, I don't have the fourth one. It's on my wish list. So, anyway, that was just very, very nice. So, wait, well, guys, this is going to wrap it up. So, I hope you guys have an awesome week. Um, if you guys have comments, suggestions, good, bad, indifferent, things you'd like me to try, let me know. I think my next video is going to be the uh, new um, Gillette that just came out. 
um, the Gillette inspired, Heritage inspired, whatever the heck they call it. So I think the next one, I know there's a lot of videos out there doing it, so I don't want to overkill the market with it, direct the market with it. So I think that'll be the next one. So anyway, guys, that'll take care of this for today. Um, yeah, we're going to go truck on in a day or so. Oh, you guys take care and have a great one. We'll see you again in a few days. Bye-bye.